What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? Hey, I'm just coming at you with an update on my um, SDX10 Baja truck. Give you a little update what's going on. Okay. First off, I told you guys that uh, I was going to be using a Jeep body. Like I even showed you in the first video, I believe, the clear body that I had. Well, anyway, I got the body painted, and here it is. <laughs> oh, it looks basic, but I want to bring it to life with detailing and whatnot. And my objective is not to make this thing look pretty. You know, that's what's nice about having trail trucks and off-road trucks and Baja trucks is ain't about looking pretty, ain't about the lines being perfect. You can blot your paint job or whatever because it's going to get dirty anyway, right? Right. But anyway, this is the body. And of course, I have to peel off the, uh, you know, the plastics off, the body, tape, everything I have taped off, blah, 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 blah. As you can see, uh, looks a little better, right? Well, then you got to do the windows. Starts to take shape and look like a Jeep. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. But anyway, I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just taking some of it off so you can kind of see. I got a lot of detailing to do, so there you go. That's going to be my Jeep. Um, I don't know traditionally the guys tend to paint the fenders black, but I said, hey, let me do something different and even more realistic because actually the 2009... I believe in 2010 Jeeps, the fenders are the same color as the body. So I decided to leave them the same color as the body. Now, I still have to do the grill yet. I'm not exactly sure what color I'm going to paint the grill, but maybe silver probably. Something a little different. So I still have yet to do that. So I need to put the, actually put that tape back on the uh, oh, these windows until I, get those, until I get the grill painted anyway. Okay, but anyway... Again, that's going to be my Baja body, the 2009 Jeep Wrangler. Okay, I didn't really want to go with that, uh, that uh, the dingo body. It's just a little bit too squared off for me, so check eBay. I'll be selling that. But anyway, back to my chassis. I love it. Here is the SCX-10 Baja chassis. Now, I know I showed you guys a little running video of me driving it. Um, you probably get speeds of about uh, close to 10 mile an hour, but realistically, that's great for scale speed. You know, I mean, I'm really not going, I don't want it to go uh, 20, 15, 20 mile an hour. The speed it goes now is great for a solid axle truck. I don't want the axle just bounce. I want to actually give it, you know, have it a little slower and give the suspension some time to work. But anyway, I'll give you guys a little closer look. And uh, I'm just using a, uh, dynamite four pole brushless motor nah, I take this little cover this is just for decoration but anyway a little dynamite four pole brushless motor there I'm using a 23 tooth pinion uh, pinion gear and I believe it's an 87 tooth spur gear so you can go all the way down I think to like a 14 so I'm pretty much maxed out as far as uh, speed is as far as using this pinion gear and a spur gear combination uh, what else? What else? What else? But what really sets uh, things off and sets things apart for me with this Baja Edition STX10 that I really like is the fact that I have a I have a differential in it. See that front wheel? I'm holding the front wheel. Yeah, I have a functioning differential in there. Uh huh. See that? See that front wheel turning? Huh? Yeah. Check that out. So now how cool is that? Think about it. How many trucks do you actually have? This scale, look, aluminum, side rail, chassis rails, this scale to a real truck, okay, with a differential, not locked, a differential, and have a slipper clutch, that is too cool. That is too cool. So that's what I'm really excited about. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing there. And again, I'm running, uh, believe it or not, HPI Blitz shocks right here. Yep. Yeah. I need to add some oil. I think my, I might have a bad uh, rubber in there. It's not sealing. Yeah, there you go. A little slower moving. My, I need to add some oil to that shock. But anyway, um, now, guys that are running shocks that have a lot of uh, travel, something that I did have to do 
with these HPI shocks. I actually had to add an internal limiter, you know, some little plastic spacers to keep the shock from dropping down so far. So what happens is, I'm sure you guys know this, I'm just going to say it anyway, when the shocks drop down so far, when the suspension goes down so far, that's when you'll start getting uh, the excessive uh, angle on your drive shaft. And then you'll start getting some, it seems almost like the, the, the motor's cogging, but it's actually the, the axle getting, it's actually the axle binding up. So you want to watch out for that. So on the uh, SDX-10 travel, you are limited on how much uh, of an angle, how much droop you can have on your shocks, you know. I had to actually, like I said, take the shock apart, go in and limit it, you know, try this space or that space until I, I got the truck to where it doesn't bind, to where I can pick it up and rotate smoothly. So, um, if you're going to upgrade to some alloy shocks like I did, um, that's something you might want to look for. But at the same time, uh, I would say this, the stock plastic shocks will do the job. If you build those shocks right, they hold oil better than these HPI shocks, trust me. Trust me, because I have a pair of the uh, the uh, the SC10 shots on my uh, so, uh, my Sawback uh, Jeep. I have them on there, and they hold the shock oil better than these things. You know, and you can probably pick them up for 10, 12 bucks on uh, online. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna buy another pair of those because they have more scale travel. You know, uh, than even these, or just as you know, I got I have these limited, but. The stock SCX10 shots are great, uh, or you can get the aluminum one, the aluminum version. I'm sure those are just even better. But as far as scale travel, awesome, awesome. So I got to give them props for that. Also, guys, I talked about it in the running video, video, but I'll show you again. I'm using the GPM axle casings. Yeah, that's right, bling bling. You know, and also I got the uh, upper Y bar for the three link. Uh, suspension back there. I've got that uh, in alloy too. So I almost have a fully alloyed out truck, and which is really cool. You know, I'm not really going for bling because uh, it's going to get scratched up and banged up, and I don't care. I just thought it would be cool to have a, you know, make one SCX10 with some all metal parts. I think it really br it brings more weight to the truck, and I think it'll give me a more realistic running, running, uh, yeah running ability because of uh, it adds a little weight. Now what I'm doing do different, what I'm doing a little different too, um, I know most people run lipos but I've just been doing some trial and error. I want my trucks heavier, okay? So I'm actually going to be running an eight cell. That's an eight cell pack back there. Now that's going to add more weight to the truck and I like that and it'll give you a more realistic ride but what I'm going to do at the same time, I may have to do, I may have to uh, build a battery pack and separate the sails, you know, to balance things out. Like this is kind of what I'm thinking about doing is uh, running six, building a battery pack, having the six sails here in the back, and have two sails running six sails in the back here, and having uh, the other two sails up here in the front. Okay, why? Just to balance it out. You know, I'll have to make a little platform probably up here for that, but I think that will help to balance it out. You know. Because this, this eight cell I know is heavy in the back. It's going to add some weight. But I want this baby planted. I don't want it bouncing. You know, it is a solid axle. I don't want to just, I don't want to be uh, Baja racing with it and it bouncing all over the place. So that's why I'm going for the weight. Um, will I go with aluminum rims? Probably not. Why? Because these axle, the original axle V lock wheels work really well. I mean, they look really cool. Not that they work really well. Well, they do work well too. They hold the B good. But uh, at the same time, they look awesome. They are, these are some awesome bead locks, personally. I really like them a lot. So uh, that's what we got going on. And this truck has some weight. I don't know how much it weighs, but it does have some weight. And um, again, I'm building, building this. This is a Baja Edition SCX-10. And I'm going to race it like, drive it like a Baja truck. I mean, I, I'll still trail with it, but it's just cool to get real uh, turning, true to life turning uh, action. You know, like, like if you're racing, like I have the... Uh, the low C10, you know, it has a diff in it. And, you know, when you got a diff in it, your car's got a quarter like a realistic car. You know, it's not a locked up by how racing truck has got an open diff in it. And I think that just makes it more scale and more real, realistic. You have to do a little research uh, on the parts you'll need, uh, but it's very simple to do. I'm sure the parts are out there. Check with Tower Hobbies, check some of the forums, and you can get the uh, part numbers. 
very few parts that you need to actually have an open diff. And like I said, for me personally, I prefer an open diff on the truck. You get more realistic performance. No, and, uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, let you see from the underside there. You guys get a good look. There you go. I'll let you see the front of the truck. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. See that Y there? That Y, it's uh, made by, I forgot the name of the company. It's not GPM, but uh, yeah. It's specifically made for the Dingo. Um, the Dingo uh, wheelbase. <laughs> Yeah, so there it is. Like I said, I haven't really done anything special. I'll probably go. Then maybe, maybe I won't. I was thinking about actually getting the frame mount, uh, servo mount, whatever, or I can make my own. You know, it, it can't be that difficult just to put a servo up a little bit higher. But it will add to some skill realism. Now, here's something that I would like to do with this truck that I have on my uh, G Mage Sawback, which is awesome. I think G -Mage, the G Mage Sawback is awesome, but let me tell you. The SCX-10 has one up on, a couple things up on the GMA Sawback. They're both awesome trucks. Of course, the slipper clutch is awesome on the uh, SCX-10, which is really cool. Proven transmission, so you can't complain. What, but what is uh, cool about the uh, Sawback is it actually has a tie rod bumper, you know, that you can order for the GMA Sawback. So what I'm thinking about doing is trying to fabricate or find something to protect these tie rods right here, these steering rods, right? So I'm looking at using these, you know, bolting it to the axle and something that will uh, come up come up around and cover the those rods right there, you know, a little scoop or something, which I don't think will be very hard to do. So I think that'll be real cool. Um, again, the sawback has it. So like I tend to every time I drive, drive my sawback like it's a, it's a Baja truck and it's, it's fun. But it, it doesn't have the open diff, and they don't offer an open diff. As with the uh, SDX-10, you do have the option to have an open diff, and I think that's really cool. So I would like to, you know, encourage anybody. If you want a realistic Baja truck, you know, you can get an open diff for this thing. That's awesome. That right there is a major plus to me that you have the option. You know, most people that are getting into making these solid axle trucks, they don't give you the option. They just... You know, solid axle, no diff. I like to have a diff. I like to have it. It's nice to have the choice. So, yeah, look into it. Look into it. But I'm uh, very excited about it. Again, my Baja Edition SCX-10 is going to be uh, the Wrangler Jeep. Um, I don't know if I'll use these wheels or not. I want to do some testing, you know, because these wheels tend to add a little bounce to the truck. So I'm going to do some testing with the Viterra Twin Hammer tires. I have a Twin Hammer. So I'm going to try those out see how that does. Uh... I've got actually some tires that I probably will stick with, which are the G-Made uh, Sawback tires. Awesome treaded tires. So I'll probably be using these more than likely. These are probably will be, this probably will be my tire of choice. But what I did was, you know, because most people make these tires too soft for Baja racing. So what I did was I actually took the foams out of the uh, Viterra Twin Hammers. Because as you, if you notice, the Twin Hammer tires are very scale as far as the feel of the tire. They're not overly soft. And I really like that about the Twin Hammer tires. So the Twin Hammer foams are awesome. So, you know, I hate when you buy a tire and uh, it's just super soft because realistically the tire is not going to be super soft. In a, in, even in, a, in an off-road truck, not super soft. Like they make them now, like on the original SCX-10. Super soft tires. Uh, and I do have those, but I would, I would fill them up with the foam from the from the um, material twin hammers. So that's what I'm looking at doing, guys. Uh, again, coming at you with the uh, Axel, soon to be, soon to be released, <laughs> unleashed, the Axel Baja Edition SCX-10. You know, again, this truck is awesome. It's super scale. Look at that. Chat. And I've had the SCX-10 since the original. I had the first SCX-10, the very first one, so. I've, I've been around to watch the SCX-10 evolve into an awesome truck. It's awesome from the get-go. You know, they came out hitting with a big bang with this truck. And it's just still, the platform is unbeatable. You can't beat it. You can join it, but you can't beat it. Okay, and the price is really good. So, all right, guys, it's been fun. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, sharing moment <laughs> about my ideas of things I want to do with the SCX-10. Later.